Uh, you're from, uh, well, your, your kind of ancestry is from Albania. Your family yeah. have roots in Albania, don't yeah. you? Yeah. And that's also where Dua Lipa has been on the show and yes. also Rita Ora. Mm -hmm. Is there a kind of like an Albanian girls gang in music? Do you? <laughs> yeah, you know, we talk, we phone each other. But do you speak Albanian? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. I, call, I speak Albang, Albanian and English, Albanglish. Albanglish? Yes. Well, give me an example of Albanglish. Um, I'd be like, like if I want to say, like, where are the potato chips, I'd be like, Kuyan potato chips. Wow, so it is. So it's, Cause I like mix it, because I don't really know how to say everything. Yeah, and so who's uh, on the Albanian side? Is uh, both your parents from that side, from yeah. that part of Europe? Yes. Or? So they speak Albanian together? Yeah, probably. sometimes we'll go back to Albania, and the weddings are like five days long. Wow. It's like an intense thing. Like, yeah. it's insane. So we go there and... But growing up, you weren't allowed to listen to pop music, were you? I was, but my dad, like, he could see that I was, like, I started obsessing with music and writing it, and he was against it because, you know, he didn't know... He always saw the music business as being a very scary place. And yeah, you could see his point. Sex, drugs, and rock and roll. Yeah. It is sex, drugs, and rock and roll, by the way. <laughs> it way. is. I mean, not me. I'm, like, no sex, unfortunately. Oh, <laughs> No drugs and rock and roll. Okay. Um, it's when... like Nando's sleep and rock and roll. <laughs> you're, because you're single at the moment, aren't you? Is that right? Single? Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, and do you date while you're over here? Do you... I've only been on, like, two real dates in my life. Really? Yeah, because I feel like guys just want to, like, hang out. It's like, ask me to dinner, you know what I mean? Like, take yeah. me to, like, I want to take you to a nice dinner. Um, so now I'm not used to going on dates, so if somebody asks me, I get really nervous. Because I mean, I, 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 I'm the type of person that when I go to a restaurant and if somebody's on a first date, I'm listening to everything they're saying. Right. And me and my friends will be like, oh, it's not going so good. <laughs> or like, like, we'll start rating it, you know what I mean? Yeah, or yeah. she'll leave the bathroom and be on her, own, on her phone and we'll just... Yeah. So I don't want that to happen to me, you know? Right. I don't know. Like... You don't want to be rated. What? <laughs> what? You don't want to be rated. Oh, yes. <laughs> we can't do ours. I guess I thought you said weighted. <laughs> Thirteen years I've been doing this sort of thing. Sorry. Uh, Vivi, I tell you one thing uh, I read about you a while ago, and this one thing that made me like you even more, because you're a huge talent, uh, and I, I love Thanks. hearing you sing, I love your music, but it was the one thing you had over the Grammys mm. when you had a struggle with designers to dress you. Will you tell us about that? Because I, 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 it, was such a, it was such a positive thing to hear coming from you. Well, um, I, you know, I was nominated for two Grammys, and this is a big moment. It was my first Huge. nominations, and my parents were coming to town, my brother, my mom, my dad, and, um, yeah, I got a text saying that a lot of the big designers and showrooms, uh, like the houses that hold the, cl uh, the clothes, um, didn't want to dress me because they considered me too big. And, um, and you're what? So, I mean, you're... I'm a size, like, UK size 12. Yeah, so it's like, I like my curves. Um, but, yeah, ladies. <laughs> No one stretches that, that out I, a large person. I, I just feel like that, it hurt me because I've struggled with my weight all my life, and especially being in the music business, looks is an important thing, but you also want to be healthy. It's not just physical, it's about mental, it's about feeling happy. And I don't want to be at a place where I'm starving myself to fit into certain clothes, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's important. So I have, so I have Nando's six times, seven times. <laughs> That's amazing. I'm but like, you want to eat a French fry once in a while. Why do you think me and Wob are wearing Spanx t-shirts right now? <laughs> um, no, anyway, I made the video and I was scared to put it out because, I don't know, you, you get scared. You know, my mom got really scared because she was like, I don't want everybody back out dressing you, you know? But I was like, then, then it's not right. So, yeah, I ended, up, I ended up finding a really beautiful dress and it was this guy, Monsuri. You looked absolutely amazing. Here's the dress that BB wore to the Grammys. Look at that. That is stunning. <laughs> you look incredible. I felt, I felt like a princess. And did you get feedback from the designer? Because I would have thought they would be ashamed of themselves. I would have thought they would... A lot of, like, no, but the real people that were... I think people need to be in the fashion industry need to be more inclusive, meaning they need to include every... Even if you're thinner. Like, yeah. they should, you know, you should show love to every body type, every shape, you know, big boobs, small boobs, big... Every... Arse. Every bar can be every size, yeah, yeah. Small one. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if you can say that on TV, but... Yeah, honestly, like, Moschino, Jeremy Scott, may rest in peace, Karl Lagerfeld sent me, like, some of his pieces, and it was, like, I saw who the true, like, the real nice people wow, were. Wow, the people who were prepared to step up and And then all the other ones course. can't kiss my fat ass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's it.